story to tell. China's defense industry has grown tremendously in the past decade, but most of its weapons are still mainly copies of famous Russian and Western weapons. The HQ-9 air defense system is one of them. After economic stability, China began to reorganize its military in a strong modern direction and began researching and developing weapons to catch up with the Soviet Union and the West. In addition to continuing to buy from the Soviet Union, they also began to develop high-tech weapon systems such as interceptor missiles. The HQ-9 long-range air defense missile complex began to research and manufacture in 1980s under the leadership of the China Academy of Defense Technology. It was originally developed based on the U.S. Patrol Service to a missile system. It was there a secret that how China at that time had access to the U.S. Patriot, even though the two countries had warm relations at this time. The U.S. has even served S-70 helicopters to Beijing but not with high-tech weapons. So it is possible that China had access to the Patriot through Israel, which had a rather close weapon technology relationship with Beijing at that time. Even the current famous Chinese J-10 is said to have acquired from the Israeli Levy fighter, while the Levy was developed from the US F-16. After reaching the Patriot, the HQ-9 missile system was designed to launch in box-shaped container launchers like the US Patriot. The missile uses a two-stage solid-fuel engine. However, the first variant of the HQ-9 was not really successful. Each launcher could carry only two missiles with poor maneuverability and very low reliability. Fortune came to China in the middle 1990s. Russia agreed to export S-300 PMU-1 anti-aircraft missiles to China because it was in dire need of money to revive its economy after the breakup of the Soviet Union. With the S-300 PMU-1 in hand, China has studied this system to perfect the HQ-9. China has copied almost of the technology of the S-300 MPU-1. The shape of the HQ-9 at this time was almost completely similar to the Russian air defense system. The most basic formation of a HQ-9 batteries consisted of one TAF 305B search radar, one tracking radar, one 200 kilowatt diesel generator truck, and eight transporter erector launchers, each with four missiles, throttling 32 rounds ready to fire. These equipments are usually mounted on Taiyan trucks. HQ-9 systems are highly mobile. Various units have completed conducting long-distance maneuver and drills, including units in southern China participating in live firing exercises in northwestern China. Similar to the Russian S-300, the HQ-9 is a two-stage missile. 
The first stage has a diameter of 700 mm and the second stage 560 mm with a total mass of almost 2 tons and a length of 6.8 meters. The mixture is armed with a 180 kg square head, has a maximum speed of Mark 4.2 and has a maximum range of 200 km. The thrust vector control of HQ9 is almost obvious visual identification that distinguishes it from S300. The thrust vector control of HQ9 is exposed and thus can be observed from the side, while the S300 is not exposed. Some operating mechanisms remain the same as the US Patriot. The HQ9 guidance system is composed of initial guidance plus mid-course uplink and active radar terminal guidance systems. To maximize the combat effectiveness of HQ-9, a dedicated fire control radar for HQ-9 was developed, designated as HT-233. This radar is the most advanced fire control radar HQ-9 could employ, and it has greater similarity to the MIM-104 Patriot MPQ-53 than the S-300's 30 and 6 series, working in the NATO G-band, also as a search and targeting radar. The radar can search a 120 degrees arc in azimuth and 0 to 90 degrees in elevation out to 300 kilometers, with a peak power output on 1 megawatt. The radar is credited as being able to track 100 targets and guides up to 6 missiles to 6 targets or alternatively to 3 targets with a pair of missiles for each target. China is actively offering the export variant of the HQ-9 current FD-2000 to Turkey, as well as many other Asian countries. However, so far, no country has placed an order. Although the Chinese media praised the HQ-9, even saying that it's superior to the US Patriot and the S-300, even on par with the Russian S-400. But in the end, China still had to spend a huge money to buy S-400, which shows the fact that HQ-9 is not as perfect as previous advertisement. Because if it was so good, Beijing could not to spend millions of dollars to buy S-400 from Russia. My video about the Chinese HQ-9 missile answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.